All right, everyone, uh, better to be late than never, but uh, there was a B patch posted up for TFT, uh, let me open up my calendar, about a week and a half ago. I decided to ignore it, but for the sake of consistency, I'm just going to go ahead and go through this B patch anyway, because I can. Um, this is the last patch we get till next year, so we're stuck with this patch for, I, I think it's a, going to be like another two weeks, don't quote me on that. It's at least one week, probably two. Yeah, it's it's probably it's probably at least a week and a half we're gonna be stuck with this patch, but we'll go through it. There's a lot to go through. Um, augment changes, unstable evolution. So that's the mutant um, augment, uh, reducing the the bonus health and bonuses that you get. Yeah, this this one's always kind of been really good, and generally when you get it, it's good to run mutant. So seeing it get nerfed, yeah, that's uh, windfall. So windfall is getting a buff. So windfall's kind of been a tricky balancing situation. Um, I think in general, thirty-five was way too low for the um, for the last augment. Like that just really wasn't enough gold to do a lot with. It's it's a nice infusion, but like you're are you've already done like a major roll. You usually are about to do a major roll down or have already done a major roll down, and thirty-five gold often like it really isn't enough to make a significant difference in your comp because oftentimes you've already hit your four cost carry and all, now all you're doing is finding supporting cast. So they buffed it up to 45 which is a little more useful because now you can use it to power power to eight if you want. Um, and they also added another five to the uh, the second augment of windfall. So if you get it as your second augment you get 30 gold now. Um, yeah, that one seems okay. I, I, I'm always kind of uncertain about the middle part of Windfall. Underdog, yeah, Underdogs is actually kind of cracked, so see it get nerfed is, is, is yeah. <laughs> Ascension is absolute cracked. Uh, Ascensioned with a well-itemized Dr. Mundo is free win, because he becomes kind of unkillable. And if your opponents are just focusing on him and you still have a carry alive, Ascension will just win you the fight. Period. To one changes. So Kassanen actually is getting a weird... It, it, it. So the main thing is that his, his spell could stack on itself when it wasn't supposed to do that. So he's getting a nerf on that. But the thing is, I, I don't really think Kassanen really needed to nerf. He's, he's so poorly traded. He's... Mutant Protector, if I remember correctly. Not not good traits. Not good traits. Uh, meanwhile, Darius getting a mana nerf. Um, total mana nerf. Yeah, that was kind of needed. He heals, like, way too much. Basically, he just ults too much. By ulting too much, he heals too much. Three cost, Cho'Gath. Um, if you hit Cho'Gath, it's a good build. If you don't hit Cho'Gath, it's not a good build. It's kind of the summary of all things Cho'Gath. A good Cho'Gath build is good. A bad Cho'Gath build is an eighth. Samira, um, they've hit Samira a bunch of times, and now a lot of is kind of people have moved away from playing Samira. I don't really know if this was really necessary to buff, do this across the board buff, but it's so minor that I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. Meanwhile, Vex, yeah, after they... yeah, I, I think a lot of people called this out. Vex was getting kind of crushed in the last patch. So they needed to buff up Vex to make Vex a little more playable. Because if Vex isn't playable, Arcanus is not playable. And that's very problematic. Four cost. Uh, Fiora, spell heal goes up 20%. Fiora, like, the problem with Fiora is Fiora has to compete with Yone comps. Um, They're both just going to put on each other's feet. So whichever one is strictly better is always going to be played more. And Fiora has the weird thing where she's she's kind of a mixed carry between both AD and AP, which makes her particularly only useful if you manage to get both IE and Jewel Gauntlet. Little awkward. Whereas Yone can basically run any a AD item, period. Any combination of AD items is good on him. But at the same time, Yone nerfs. Uh, clone no longer double benefits from Challenger and Academy. So basically, the clone that he made was getting the buffs that the base Yone was getting, and the clone Yone was getting buffs on top of that. 
Uh, so in return, they're buffing up um, his stats. Uh, I suspect that given the fact that Challenger... I can't highlight. Challenger 8 was one of the most popular Yone build, that this is actually, in general, a nerf, even with these buffs. Um, it's going to balance out and maybe even be stronger in some of the lower tiers of Challenger and the lower tiers of Academy. But in the higher tiers, this is a strictly nerf. Galio. Uh, if you've ever seen Clapio, it's a thing. I.e. Galio is a thing. It still is a thing even with this nerf. Just not as busted. Akali, so... One of the things that happened with this patch overall... Even I remember this, because... Yeah, I may not have played it much, but... Everyone and their brother was complaining about Akali. And what's funny is I didn't really do anything to Akali. It was like a 50 health buff. The placebo effect is what it is. But, um... Akali just found its way into every game, and Akali turned out to be one of the best units in the game. I, it's really just a matter of I don't think people were really playing Akali at the time, and now that uh, their favorite comps have been squished, or compositions that Akali didn't play well into have been squished, now everyone is realizing Akali was incredibly good. So, Akali got nerfed uh, straight across the board. Um, these are probably fine. I don't think there's any issue. Uh, the the main target of, of the ire is a spell execute. Um, especially at one star, 20% was quite a bit to insta-kill. Especially on, like, high health front lines. Like, this, this was probably too much. So, this should be a bit more fair now. Items, Archangel, yeah, Archangel Staff got nerfed. It, it kind of was becoming a popular item, like, everywhere. Uh, it was... I hadn't done the math to see how long it took it to be better than Death Cap, but in general, it should take very long for it to be better than Death Cap. At, like, 10 plus seconds, I would think, to be better than Death Cap. And I get the feeling that at two stacks is where it gets better than Death Cap. Based on what I'm seeing. Bramble Bramble was the best defensive item in the game. I there's nothing else to say. Bramble Bramble so good. It was just it is bonkers. Uh, everything is trying to crit. So being able to not crit makes Bramble very, very good. It's the best defensive item in the game. Even with this nerf, still best defensive item in the game. And I say that saying Warmogs is very, very good right now. Traits, Chemtech, um, this is kind of, it, it's straight up, a, it, it, it's a buff, but really it's more of a rebalancing. Um, I don't know, how do I want to word this, because Chem, Chemtech's kind of in an odd place. So with the last patch, Chemtech 5, because this, this is a 3, 5, 7, 9, yes, Chemtech 5 was basically untouched. They they changed how they were going to balance Chemtech, but they kept five the same, which is fine, because that's kind of the standard. But they wanted to make seven more playable. So they started tweaking levers to nerf um, three and buff seven. Well, now they're kind of just... They, they buff across the board here while keeping the lever at five the same. They basically just want people to play more seven, which is why you see this this buff here as well. Um, the only issue, like, I have with, it, there's no problem with Chemtech 7. Chemtech 7 is, is probably fine. The bigger issue is that it's hard to create a good composition at Chemtech 7 without a bunch of spats. It's just awkward to play. You, you know, 5 is kind of the sweet spot. Was well, 5 is always there. And lastly, Protector Shield. Uh, this is a nerf to Garen. Um... That Garen composition, where you just hyper roll a Garen three, give him a bloodthirster, he became too difficult to kill. And they've nerfed him a bunch of times, and if they nerf him any more, he'll be unplayable. But that composition is still, like, way too strong in the early game. So, this is probably their way of fixing it, also understanding that Protector really isn't a comp in this current set. It's just not that good in general. 
But with Garen, it's annoying. Okay, bug fixes. Um, Archangels don't want staff hawk with them. Bench. I. This is only relevant if we bring back. Uh, who 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 was it? Um. Thresh Thresh pulling units off bench. Well, actually. Theoretically, couldn't you sell the unit on bench and then give it to another item? I, I, I don't know if I don't think it works like that. But that that could be a reason why they change this. I don't know. <laughs> and six sniper no longer buffs bonus damage attack too. You have a lot of spats with play six sniper. Anyway, uh, that's it for the B patch. So this hyper delayed video that I should have posted up a week and a half ago is now complete, and I can post it up now for your guys. Uh, pleasure um enjoy this will be the last patch video of the year and you probably won't see another one for another two weeks about baldish week and a half two weeks see ya